Noyce had been introduced to the transistor soon after its development at Bell Labs. He'd been an undergraduate at Iowa's Grinnell College then, studying under Grant Gale, a physics professor who just happened to have gone to college with one of the transistor's inventors. At Gale's request, Bell Labs sent over the technical reports on the new device. Noyce devoured them. With the transistor, Noyce knew he was looking at the future. The concept hit me like the atom bomb, he later recalled. It was one of those ideas that jolts you out of the rut, gets you thinking in a different way. The transistor was still a laboratory curiosity at Bell Labs during that period. It somehow manages to get to Iowa, to a little liberal arts college in the middle of the country, and sitting there in the class is the man who's gonna make it all happen. Uh, the odds are astronomical of any of this occurring. Noyce went on to study transistor-related technology at MIT, then took the job with Philco in its newly formed transistor division. Bright and personable, he was quickly promoted to manager, and just as quickly came to the conclusion that the bureaucracy of East Coast corporations did not suit him. Places like Philco and Bell Labs and IBM they were very large, hierarchical kinds of companies and businesses, and it was very structured. Philco was so structured that your status and your furniture was determined by a, a book that actually had your title and your position in the company and what sort of furniture you were allowed to have in your office at that time. And so everything was put in a rule book of some kind. It was very stifling and limiting in your own freedoms. Noyce wanted to be a scientist, to be in a lab all day, every day. He quickly discovered that he hated management. He had imagined himself as an independent operator. Philco was doing good work in transistors, but Shockley was the top of the field and I wanted to see if I could compete with him, if you will. I wanted to play in the big leagues. In California, Noyce would get his chance. 